Hello you beautiful people, today we will be looking at image to video inside of Comfy and this is not stable video diffusion, this is actually a very good image to video that in many instances can rival Runway, Luma, Kling, etc. Uh, it just has one limitation which is that the width and height, so the size, is set at or trained at 720 by 480. I did run an upscaler outside of this and got it to 1080p, so full HD, and it still looked pretty good, I would say. Works okay up to full HD. I think upscaling to 4K will be hard, but this is local, so you can download it, you can use it for yourself, so there's no cost involved unless uh, you need cloud computing for this. So I've prepared a workflow for you. This is based on Kijai's amazing work. I just added some notes into it, put some pretty colors on top of it. And we're also going to be following one of my guides. This one is available in the link below. And we're also going to be able to download the workflow. So if you go into this link and you follow the guide, you can see here download below and here is the JSON. And if you drop that into your comfy UI, you will see this, right? So let's check out what's going on here, right? So we have loaded an image. We have an image I created with, um, was I think it's from one of my older videos where I generated Darth Vader as a vampire. He is in a three by two aspect ratio, so 720 by 480. We're then loading this model here. So this is the FP8 text encoder. If you already have that installed. So if you don't have this named Google it, or you can use this one, which is the same that's used for Flux and SD3. But if you don't have that, what you need to do when you first drag and drop your workflow is it will look something like this when you drag and drop it in the first time. So you would go into your manager, install missing custom nodes, select all the nodes that you might need to install and press install, right? Whenever that's finished, you're going to press the little restart button. And if you have red nodes after, you can press refresh in your browser, either Control R or Command R if you are on a Mac. Then inside of the manager again, you have the model manager. And if you search for FP8 E4, you can find this one. This is the model we want. And if you don't have it installed, you have an install button here and you just click that. It would look something like this, depending on which ver version of Comfy you're using. It might have it installed here or here. When that is installed, you can press refresh. So if you're using the older version, you can refresh from this menu, refresh here. And if you're using the newer one, you have your refresh button up here. And if you're wondering how to get this newer UI, if you're using the latest Comfy version and you go into settings, so this is the cog here, you can actually select here beta menu, depending on, on which, which version you have, it might be lower down, but you want to look for something beta and then instead of disable, you set it to top and then you get the new UI. You see this menu up here, right? So whenever you loaded custom nodes and the model, you are basically finished. You still have to press Q prompt and that will auto download the model here. So we're using the COG video X 5B and then it's I to V. So that's image to video. If you're on the lower end system, like six gigabytes of VRAM, eight gigs, you can use the 2B models, but that does not have image to video. So yeah, it's just limited to text to video there. Then we'd have to build a workflow that utilizes text to video. So you wouldn't have your load image node would make no sense. Whenever you press Q, the models are being downloaded. And whenever that's finished, your generation will start. And for me, on a 4090, this image to this result took about five minutes. I used this prompt here. So Darth Vader is a vampire and blood is dripping from his steel fangs. The camera is slowly rotating around him. The background is filled with smoke and a strong light. We have a negative prompt, but this is default from TGI settings. 
It just says the video is not of high quality, it has low resolution, watermark present each frame, strain motion trajectory. So that's just what we don't want to see, right? And as you can see here, we're getting our vampire Darth Vader. It's currently set at 49 frames and 50 steps. We don't need to change anything here. What you might want to change is the, the seed. Now it's set at fixed. So if you want to generate again and get a different result, you need to either change the seed manually or set this to randomize. Well, you can set it to increment or decrement, but randomize is just easier. Well, actually it makes no difference, but most people use randomize. It's now set at a frame rate to save 24 frames per second. This will give you a very smooth video, but it will have a, however be very short. As it generates 49 frames, it will just be about two seconds. You can set this to eight frames, 12 frames, then your video will be a bit longer, right? But it will get more choppy. So let's see if we can load something else here. So make sure that your image is in an aspect ratio of three by two or 720 by 480, which is the same. If you don't have a machine that can run this or if it takes too long, I can recommend using Think Diffusion, who I'm partnering with sometimes and Full Transparency. They are sponsoring some of my content and I have loaded here a 48 gigabytes machine and the, the install process is the same. It's just gonna be much faster once you generate. Let's see if we can find another image. So I dropped in here R2D2 in 720 by 480. And let's say, let's remove the part about Darth Vader. And let's say R2D2 is a mummy with burning fiery eyes. We keep the camera slowly rotating around him. The background is filled with smoke and a strong light. That's still there. Let's just get a random seed. I'm just dragging around here. Oops, I actually changed the CFG that was set at six previously. And let's start this up. Sometimes you might get this error, then just check that this FP8E4M3FN is selected. It might be that the workflow has it saved in a different folder and you have it somewhere else. And if you're running this for the first time, this will automatically download about 14 files. So it will take a considerable amount of time, but stick with it. If you are using the RG3 custom node, you will be able to see your progress up here and you can also see in which node the work is being done. So if the green border is still around here, the download is in progress. If you, if you want to follow all these steps in text, uh, again, check out the link in the description below. So here we have the text and the images of how to get this running. Our generation is finished. We have our R2D2. He's spinning slightly. We got some smoke in the background. The eyes aren't really burning. So I'd probably want to run this a generation or two, but still pretty cool output. You can see it's actually looking like, you know, like it would be a real rotation here. Very cool. So yeah, that'll cover you getting started with image to video locally inside of Comfy UI or on a cloud solution. Load your image, write your prompt, press Q, you got to go. Peace out. Oh, this generation is nightmare fuel. I actually had an image with peace as characters. One P is wearing sunglasses and the chat bubble reads peace out. I don't know about you. I don't think this looks like peace at all. Kind of scaring me a little bit.